Good morning, guys. Or wait, it's actually like good afternoon now. Today is day 13, I believe, of the 30-day breakfast water vitamin challenge. Um, I know I said I was going to get better at uploading the videos when I'm supposed to every day, but things just be happening, man. Like work, well, business, life, everything. So, so far I've done... I'm on bottle one. Ugh. I'm on bottle number one. I've got two bottles already sitting there waiting for me. I've taken my vitamins and I'm waiting on my breakfast. So, yeah, I woke up late today. What the heck? I woke up late today, which is why it's now 12 and I'm just now doing all this. But the point of the matter is that I'm doing it. I don't know why... Like, I can go pretty much the most of the week getting up early and everything, not taking a nap, and just rocking out. But then there's that one day, like today, where I just cannot get up. Like, I seriously didn't wake up until 11 something. And that completely messed up my schedule because I'm supposed to already be on my phone calling potential clients at 8 in the morning. So that's three hours off my schedule. And now, everything that I should have been doing in that time between me waking up and me calling people i'm doing right now so it's really pushing my schedule back because i still have stuff to do later on this evening so that is something i definitely gotta figure out how to work on like i had them i have all these copies that i need to make mouth feels weird like what oh i got the chapstick on again yeah i got all these copies i gotta make and everything before well i guess i don't have to do them i did some of them and then I stopped because I was putting together my little, my, my book or whatever. So what am I about to do? I'm about to use my baby foot, you know, because that's got to stay on for an hour. So while I'm sitting and making my calls, I'm be using my baby foot. If you don't know what baby foot is, this is baby foot. This stuff right here. Honey, I've been using this stuff for like, what, three years now, maybe four years. And I'm in love. I don't even get pedicures when I go to the nail salon. I just have them put some color on my feet or something like that. I don't even have them scrape or do any of that stuff, child. If you want me to do a review on that, ask me and I'll do it maybe the next time. I don't feel like doing it right now. But um, I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind and do it anyway. What else? What else? What else? I don't know. It's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm really just, at this point, I'm just prepping for the next year if you don't remember or if i didn't say it may 28th of 2018 is my date that i'm moving back to atlanta so I'm like nothing is stopping me this time the only thing that's going to stop me is a ring on my finger and if you put a ring on my finger he gotta go with me okay or we just gonna be going back and forth we just gonna be husband and wife living in two different states my nigga i don't i ain't mean to say that anyway <laughs> but yeah no like i gotta get out of here and now my most a lot of my family is talking about they want to move down there too so it's just like Maybe this really is the time because all of us want to go. So right now I am just prepping to get everything together. I've got to sell so many houses in order to get up the money that I need because I want to buy my investment property here first before I leave. So I have something submitted and file it here. That's because I don't want to completely abandon Philly, at least not at this point. Like I have love for Philly. I've been here long enough, but Atlanta is home. I want to go back. So let's see. I got to do that. I wanted my investment property. I want to get my business off the ground. So, um, I want to solidify my business here. And then, uh, I need to also start prepping down there. So I'm hoping to go down there in like June and I need to go down there a couple times because I need to find a new office that I want to work out of down there, figure out where I want to live, all this other stuff. Cause you know, down there, sometimes you got to put in a wait for a specific apartment. It's not like you just go and you say, oh, I want to move here. And they're like, okay, well, we have all these units available. Like, a lot of times, it's only, like, if you want a two-bedroom, it might only be three of them, of, like, in the whole building. That's a certain square footage or price, and it changes by the month. Like, it's crazy. If you ever tried moving to Atlanta, then you know what I'm talking about. Or if you live in Atlanta and you've gotten an apartment, then you know what I'm talking about. You can't just go down there and be like, I'm just going to move here. Mm -mm, honey, you got to plan that unless you move it to certain other places, but... Where I want to move to, I have to definitely plan in advance because I need to know exactly what kind of income guidelines they want. 
everything and I need to get all that stuff together. So what else? That's about it. I'm really about to just sit on this phone and lock down. I'm supposed to have five hours in for the day. And like I said, I haven't even started. And at this point, it's what? I think almost one o'clock. So five hours puts me in mid-evening. And as soon as evening comes, I got to jump up and run up at this house, honey, and get in my car and start driving that Uber. <laughs> start driving that Uber. Because that one, you know, that's that immediate cash. So mm, I think that's about it. I'm actually about to record kind of a, not get ready with me, but a, um, my like morning call routine, I guess, for my Life with Essence channel. So if you're interested in anything that I do pertaining to real estate or just real estate in general, or just how I move in my business, or you just want to follow me and see if I am successful in my business, I guess. I'm not going to say fail because that's not going to happen. So if you want to go over there to watch for that, by all means, watch all the time let me know where you find it okay because i don't it's not going to happen but um everything pertaining to real estate is over on my channel life with essence all the links will be down in the description box everywhere you can find me on social media my other channels whatever it is website you can is my website down there no my all that stuff is on the other page but if you haven't already please make sure that you subscribe to my channel I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. And you know what? If you're starting a new channel, you need subscribers, comment down below. Let me know that you're a new subby. Make sure that you subscribe. Let me know that you're a new subby. Let me know what your channel is. I'll go over. I'm going to follow you. Like, we got to support each other in the YouTube community. It's not enough of that going on. It's too many people doing the same crab in a barrel thing they do everywhere else. Nobody wants to help anybody. Oh, and yes, I'm wearing my boss hat again. I, I think I'm going to start wearing this all the time when I'm making calls because I gotta remind myself I'm a boss I'm a boss son um make sure that you thumbs up this video thumbs thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it or any of the rest of them make sure that you share it out if you have somebody that you think will be interested in the stuff that I'm talking about rambling about whatever on this channel and I think that is it planning it for Myrtle Beach bike we uh uh, uh, yeah, I'm a biker girl, so no, I don't have my bike. My uncle just asked me yesterday because they're all the bikers in the family. I'm like, I got my license. I've had it for years. I just don't have a bike. So, but that that's going to change. Yes, sir. One of them, uh, one of those uh, commission checks from selling a house is going by my bike. Yes, that is the plan. I actually need to sit down and write out my, my, my goal list. Actually, I think I'm going to do a video on that. I think I'm going to do a video when I go to do that and just like write my goal list out with you guys. I think that'd be kind of cool or something like that. Or maybe, um, maybe I'll do it live somewhere. Maybe I'll do it live somewhere. I don't know. Let me figure out how I want to do that. I think I'm going to do it a video though. So this way people can always go back and reference it. But yeah, I'm cutting this short. I'll come back here later and let you guys know how I make up with this water. I'm the I'm probably going to get at least... The three bottles down while I'm calling hopefully no let's make that a plan so I got two bottles sitting right there I brought I took them out because I wanted to be a little warmer I don't want them to be so cold and yeah that's it for like the 16th time I know I keep saying that's it and then I talk about something else but really that's it I'm gonna go check on my breakfast and I really need to get into these calls so I'm gonna see you guys on the other side of this and let you know how I made out what it what it what it so yeah, so far I've had three bottles of water. I've got bottle number four in the car with me. It's kind of frozen, but it's hot as bowls out here. So I wanted it cold so it could stay cold out here. And right now I'm on my way to Ikea and just ran into this dumb behind traffic. I think they're still doing draft stuff down here. So I'm like the one block from the expressway entrance and there's traffic. So. To maintain my road rage that I've been working very hard to curb, I was like, let me get on here and vlog and vogue and, and y'all look at this light is red. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, so I'm on my way to IKEA because I was there before and they had um one of the big mirrors was discounted. So I want to see if they still have it. And um, I just got informed that apparently last week Ikea had a sale where everything was 75% off. Yeah. 
And apparently they do this quite often. They just don't advertise. And the people that work there, which I know people that work there, my girlfriend knows people that work there, but these people never think to say, hey, my job is having to sell. I don't know why. Why is that? Why don't y'all like to share info? Get the, see? See, this is what I'm, drive. Get out the way. She's really about to make me upset. Drive. I'm sorry to be doing this to you guys, but she's like really in the way right now. She made me lose my whole train of thought just now. Did you see that just blink out? But yeah, so I need, I'm, I want my mirror so I can get some nice pictures in because the one I have is really not, it's not for, you know, sharing pictures. Like I can look in the mirror and look at myself, but that's about as far as it's going to go. I can't take no selfies in that mirror, B. So I'm sorry to keep saying so. I'm going to work on that as well. The other thing I want to get is just one of those, ex, uh, I think they're Kalex now, one of the Kalex bookcases, the little four square ones to put my printer on. I was going to get uh, a file, the file cabinet that matches my desk, but now that I'm in this new place, my office space just isn't as big as my last one. So a file, uh, um, fact, the, little, the file desk is just not going to fit. And there's no point in me getting something that's not going to fit. Because what if I move it to the next place and it still doesn't fit and I made it fit into this place. So I decided I didn't need it as bad as I just need some work to my printer. So those are the two things that I'm going to go get. And then once I get those things, and hopefully that's only those things, I'm going to take that home and I'm going to uh, start driving for Uber and get my drive on for the rest of the night. And yes, I was successful in making my calls for my real estate I got my contacts plus some so I hit my bonus contacts that I set for myself I'm quite happy about that yay me so I feel like I can treat myself with Ikea all right all right that's what I'm talking about but um yeah let me focus on this on this highway because we've got more not uh such good drivers in front of me yes the PG the PG version yeah I'll be big So, trying to find a mirror. Ooh, I did it again. I'm looking for a mirror because I keep saying, I'm gonna get a mirror, I'm gonna get a mirror, I'm gonna get a mirror, and I never do. And then I can't take no selfies because I don't have no mirror. So I'm thinking about this one because it's cheap. It's only $50. The one that I wanted, they don't have anymore. But I really want this big boy right here with the, what do they call it? Like a, it's almost like the infinity edges. You can't see none of the edges, so it's just a clear, you know, picture with no obstructions. Whereas this one has the black. And it's not as wide. So this one is 25 by 59. This one is 30 by 77. So that's like 30 and 25 so five inches wow five inches really makes a huge difference between the two wait hold on let me get closer okay let me see so there's that one and there's this one i don't know 50 dollars versus 130 y'all know i'm cheap so and plus this one is black which matches the rest of the decor whereas this one is aluminum and even though you can't see it and it'll be against the white wall i don't know not to mention um this bitch ain't gonna fit in my car now anyway and that's not going to my car and i wonder i probably hmm can i even get that up the steps by myself probably not i think i'm gonna go with this one yeah i think i'm gonna get this one matter of fact hold up let me stand i gotta get close Cause this is hanging on the wall for me to get full body and I know y'all can't see that bear with me but mine's will probably be sitting on the floor I don't want to mount anything to the walls I don't know what do you guys think by the time you guys tell me which one you think I would have probably already bought it but you can still leave your comments down in the description box and I'm gonna finish shopping so on today's episode of what not to do when you're broke, 
Oh my goodness. Why did I just spend over $200 in Ikea? Why? Why did I do it? Why did you people... Oh wait, y'all not over there. Sorry. Why did you people let me do that? Why is my mirror so foggy? There's so many whys that are not being answered right now. I don't understand. I'm on my way to the house to drop off my my uh, loot from Ikea. So, what did I buy that I spent $200? Your guess is as good as mine. I bought a mirror, the mirror that I showed you guys, the, the cheap, the cheaper one. I bought um, the small Kalex system, which is just the four, four squares. And remember I was saying that I wanted to buy that so that I had somewhere to put my printer and store my paperwork. So I bought some um, file folders for 99 cents to go in there and a box to put the file folders in for $5. Like the biggest expense at Ikea was my mirror, was my mirror and the Kalex system. So together those two came to, the mirror was 50, the Kalex, 60, Kalex system was 35. So it was like $80 right there. Wait, so if that was $80, what the hell? Oh, now I remember. So, I decided, wait, I need to put my shades back on because, yes. So, I decided, well, I had been decided I, I wanted to light my shoe case. You know, the, the other big Kalex that I have in there that has all my shoes in it. I wanted to light it so this way, you know, my shoes would be displayed and it would be all nice and pretty and it just wouldn't be a shelf with shoes. So, I was looking at the LED lights and those were going to cost me 120 for four packs. Then I saw the little, you know, the little push lights that they use, the individual LED push lights, and they were, I think $3.99 a piece. So all together for 15 of those, because I said I had the big one and I have three rows of shoes. So that's 15 squares. So for 15 of them was about $60 or so. Then I had to buy all the batteries to go with them and they were $2.99 a pack for 10. So I had to buy five packs of those. So that's another twenty dollars. So let's see. Now that's that's eighty and sixty. That's one forty and then another twenty. That's one sixty. I'm gonna have to look at this receipt and figure out what exactly cost me two hundred and twenty dollars because now that I'm going over the numbers in my head, I really don't know. Like I really don't know what the hell ran it up to two hundred eighteen dollars. Now I gotta go back and look. And then I just bought some other small stuff. I bought another candle and what my club is that? I bought a, another candle. Um, what else did I buy? I'm gonna do, matter of fact, I'm gonna do like a, a, a haul, I guess, on everything that I bought instead of me sitting here trying to remember everything I bought. I'm just gonna do an Ikea haul video and post that, and that's gonna be a whole separate video. But yeah, that's what I did. I'm supposed to be driving right now, but of course I have to go all the way home to take this stuff out of my car first before I can even start driving. And it is like almost 10 o'clock. It's 9.38. So by the time I get home, my plan is to get back out on the road by at least 10, 15. And then I can drive until, oh my goodness, saying I'm going to drive till midnight, like that's nothing, that's only two hours. I'm so, I'm upset with myself, but at the same time, I'm happy that I got the things that I want. Even though there was one more mirror that I wanted to get for my haul and I forgot it. So I have to go back and get that. But that mirror is on sale. It's only $20, so it's not anything that's gonna break the bank but after you spent 218 dollars it's like everything breaks the bank bitch you already broke the bank when you bought all this stuff but the fact that i've been wanting it and wanting it and wanting it and wanting it sometimes you just gotta say you know what just go get it like i had the money physically now having the money physically is not the same thing as having money to spend i want you guys to understand that don't sit here and take this and be like oh well as i said if i got the money i can go get it because that is not what i'm saying at all like everybody's your own person you can do what it is that you want to do but i am not advising you that if you don't really have the money to spend to go out and spend it just because it's there physically the only reason why i went out and spent the money is because a i wanted to b because i wanted to and c really because i wanted to like i'm not going to sit here and be like oh well you're going to make it back up because i honestly don't know that i might you know something might happen next week where i can't drive uber or something I, I really don't know so I just decided to get it so that was my little disclaimer this is my uh you know my update for tonight 
I forgot my water in the car, so I didn't drink it. So I'm about to drink that now, but I really have to pee. So I'm still on bottle number four. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this nail. And it's still cool, it's not cold or frozen, so. It's a nice cool temperature, I can do that. All right, and I'm focusing on driving, so I don't, come on, get over already. Why does it take people 10 minutes to switch lanes? I never understood that. Like, if you know you wanna get over there, shouldn't you be there, like, just go. I don't understand. But yeah, so this is gonna, I'm sorry to keep saying that SO word as well. There's a lot of words that I've gotta work out of my vocabulary, that being one of them. But um, yeah, this is going to be the final video for today. Cause I wanna go ahead and get out there and drive. And that just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it, but somebody revving their bike engine, I guess. I, I don't even know where they are. I just know the engine revved and scared the shit out of me. I'm surprised I didn't drop my water. But on that note, let me get off of this video because I'm riding with my lights on and I'm, I'm sure people are looking at me like, I know she is not FaceTiming while she is driving. Oh my gosh, she is being so dangerous and she's got a bottle in one hand and she's doing this with the other hand. Another disclaimer, don't drive like this, okay? Don't do it. I can do that because I want to. Don't go do this. And on that note, I'm out of here. So I'm recording this part at a different time because I want to get out of here for work, but I wanted to put my lights in first. So these are the, goodness, I threw all the packets on the floor. These are the, can you see it? Ramps the little push lights and they're battery operated. I got these from Ikea. They were $3.99 a piece, I believe, or $4.99. Yeah, they were $3.99 a piece. And then you had to get the packs of batteries. They were $2.99 a piece. And... I got these to go in here and I already have two in there and I was like you know what I want to put these in before I go to work so this is not a room tour this is part of my little oh goodness mini Ikea haul sorry about the camera but as you can see that's what they look like and let me turn the lights off and that's what they look like on I cannot wait for this to be finished. And I'll show you guys everything else that I got from Ikea. It's not a whole lot of stuff, but I'll show you what I got right for right now. And I'll put the links down in the description box where you can find everything. Oh wait, I had to come back and show you what it looks like when the lights are off and my flash is off. So that's how bright they are. My pretty little shoe display. I found this was the cheaper option to the LED lights. And I like the fact that when I go to take this apart, I don't have to worry about a thousand cords everywhere like I do with the LED strip lights. So this is what they look like all on. And I just did them all and realized I need five more because I have 20 cases. I mean, 20 open spaces and not 15. Sorry, I forgot to turn one on. So this is what it looks like on. Oh my God, it's so pretty. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. And now I'm about to be late for work. So let me get the hell out of here. And yeah. Oh my God. It's so pretty. I love it. Yes.